Unchained. Songbird. What's that, my friend? Songbird. Wow. Alright, I'll tell you what. See, I don't know. When I come to a new place, I don't know who knows what and what song they want me to do. So next time, I'm just call out requests. Wait, what was that? Wow, I love that you know Songbird, one of the first songs I ever wrote for my late sister. <laughs> but I think we would butcher it right now. I, I mean, I would. <laughs> John probably would. No, actually, my band would butcher it. We've just never played it together. And we haven't played it this But how about if we do a little Johnny Cash to close our night? <laughs> So I'm not going to do Johnny Cash like Johnny Cash did Johnny Cash because nobody can do Johnny Cash like Johnny Cash. But I, after my dad died and I wasn't ready to write a song about it, Johnny Cash was one of his musical heroes. So I was looking through Johnny Cash's songs and, and just lyrics and, and John was like, look at the lyrics to this. It's like a love song. And again, it was like 4 a.m. We're in a hotel. Do you remember where we were, John? It was somewhere in Europe. <laughs> we're only up that late in Europe. Switzerland. What was it? It was in Switzerland. Again, whiskey was involved. <laughs> because we think you're going to drink the whiskey and get to bed, and then you don't. You just stay up and you want to write and get silly. So we. We kind of decomposed. That's a terrible word. <laughs> this song. I'm not gonna tell you the title. I think you'll pretty much figure it out as soon as we get going. But I just thought, what a love song. What a love letter to write to somebody.
and y'all sing for something you love. Oh, it burns, burns. At a ring, at a ring. A little louder. It burns, burns, burns. One more time for someone you love. Oh, it burns.